What up YouTube? It's your girl Miss 360 and I'm back at it with another video. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe. Text me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Text me, you know, email me if you need a video done, you know? <laughs> YouTube, what's up? It's your boy 360GZ, and in this video, I did a basic fade. I don't like saying basic, but that's what it kind of is. But it's a dope fade. I mean, it's a mint fade. He got curls on top. For any barber out there that wants to get better, this video right here is for you. If you're a barber that cuts out the house, this video is for you. If you're just trying to learn how to cut hair because you don't know how, all right, you wanna watch this video. I don't have any loud music playing in the background. It's just me talking over this, this video. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And uh, yeah, babe, do you have anything else to say? Any more emails you wanna give the people? Any more text messages you want them to see? Twitter, Insta, <laughs> Facebook me. <laughs> It's your boy 360GZ. Stay tuned. <laughs>
again, it's the it's the teeth is further away from the other teeth, and uh, it allows you to uh, cut less hair, if that makes sense. So I got my one guard on, but it's really a 1.5. So right now I'm going up another inch and uh, making sure that all the hair that I see is the same length within this uh, inch that I'm uh, putting in these uh, guy lines. So I'm not gonna go up too far, you know, into the hair because I'm gonna shape the top, but um, I'm just being real careful on how I, how far I go up and how far I dig in and just making sure everything is one length. All right, right now I closed the lever, okay? I still got my one guard on, but I just closed the lever. That way the teeth are meeting uh, the teeth at the bottom. So that's what I mean by uh, closing the lever. Right now I'm flicking out that middle line. And what I mean by flick out motion is the motion that I'm doing. I'm kind of like going to the scalp and flicking out real fast. It's not like I'm setting in the guy line where I'm digging in. It's just a flick out motion where you, you, you go to the scalp and you flick out real quick. This is not going to take out that middle line. It's basically just going to soften up everything. So when you come behind with your next guy line, the, the, it'll be easier to take out. Now with the zero guard closed in that same position with the lever that you had last uh, on that one guard closed, you want to flick out that middle line, okay? This is a procedure that is most important because this is going to cause the blend to, to, to be in there, okay? What, you're, what you got to get an idea of is not to bring the fade up but to break the line. That's all you're doing. You're not, you're not necessarily bringing the fade up. You're just breaking the line. So in a flick out motion, um, this is probably the longest process you'll have um, when it comes to uh, doing the fade because the flick out motion is like, it's real tedious. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to what you're looking at and make sure that line is just like blended. Now with the lever closed, it's time to knock out that bottom line. Again, make sure you are, you, that you have it in your mind that it's not necessarily bringing the fade up, but it's just breaking that line. It's basically every other hair getting, um, getting erased, uh, if you will. You wanna stretch the you want to stretch the skin sometime because you know some areas won't you know come out as easy as others so stretching the skin is a good technique to really get in there and and get what you need to get keep in mind that you need to open and close the clip the the, the clipper if you have to to get in certain areas that's higher than uh, that bottom line so when you're lifting your guard when you're when you're closing your guard or opening your guard, that is basically letting you know how much hair is, is going to be taken off. The closer you get to the blade, the more you're going to cut. So when you open it, the less you're going to get, you're going to cut. So make sure that, you know, you get into the, the, the rhythm. This is all basically uh, 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 learning repetition and just doing it so much that you know you come from you, you get familiar with what you're doing you don't want to get confined in in uh, like just strictly doing the exact steps and just you know doing what you see because kind of like behind the scenes where my hand is I'm kind of opening and closing the clip the the, the lever so it's kind of I'm kind of freestyling with it too, so you guys got to find your your rhythm. You got to find what works for you, and uh, these are basic guidelines to do a, a great fade. 
Again, you wanna make sure you stretch the skin so that you could get the hairs that you know seem to be hard to get. Um, you, you also keep in mind to use your corners. Don't use the full blade in every uh, part of the haircut. Sometimes you're gonna have to just use the corners to get in them tight spots where it's difficult to, uh, to get. Um, using the full blade kinda can hinder you because you might take off some parts in different areas that you didn't want to. Um, so keep in mind that you could use the corner of your, your blade to fade too. Before you do the top of anyone's hair, if it's long, you always wanna comb it or pick it out first so it can be stretched to the, the maximum potential that the hair could be stretched to. You know, you don't wanna sit here and uh, um, have, the hair, have that bed head and you know, you start cutting on a bed head. You don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure everything is stretched out, picked out, and uh, yeah. Right now, I'm doing my freehand trim using my wall magic clips. Again, these are modified to be balders. Um, I'm basically kind of doing like a high top, uh, kind of a high top, but it's not necessarily a high top because I'm gonna eventually wet the hair and uh, put it in curls. This is just me shaping it so that it isn't no overlay and it doesn't look weird. Right now, I'm spraying the hair with water um, just to get ready for me to apply some product. Um, the, uh, the product that I'm gonna put in this hair is called Johnny B Mold, all right? This is a, a, a good product to curl hair. Right now, I'm blow drying the hair so that it can stay in place. And I don't, you don't never want to leave your client walking out with a wet head. So I'm drying it so it can stay in place and everything could, you know, look dry. All right, when it comes to lining up your client, it's all visual, okay? Like, you guys wanna make sure you keep the line natural as possible. Do not go too far back on the line. Just keep it right where the hair grew back. So, 
Right now, I notice you guys. I know you guys are noticing that my client, oh, he's ashy. This is not. This is not ashy, you guys. This is not my client being ashy. I ended up spraying some spritz on my client's lineup, and that holds the hair in place. So when you do hit it with the liner, the liners, it the hair will not move. It will just completely just um, come off, and it'll look real crispy at at, at the end of the process. But yeah, it's not that my client is ashy or anything, it's that I spray spritz on his head so that the hair will not move. YouTube, this is how my client came in. All right, and this is how he left. Can I get a drum roll, please? All right, YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button to all my house barbers, to all my student barbers, anybody that wants to know how to cut hair professionally like a barber. Here it is, man. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching. But it's your boy 360 GZ and I'm out of here. Cheers.